Hey everybody, it's Ben here. Uh, today, it's the first day of winter. Uh, you know, it was 55 degrees and sunny yesterday, and then overnight the temperature plummeted 30 degrees. We got some uh, flurries coming in. Now, it wasn't a very impressive snow for the first snow of the year, uh, but it is pretty cold out, and I don't have a garage. So, you know, I'd have to go outside, brush off the snow, scrape off the ice, or with my electric car, I could just stay inside press a button on a remote and have my car defrost itself. So the first thing of course is that the car does have to be plugged in, which is not a big deal because I plug it in every night, so it's already plugged in. So here's the key fob that came with the car. Uh, if you ever buy a used iMeve, make sure you get this. It's not easy or cheap to replace. It also has that retro-tastic antenna. First thing I'm going to do is just hit the power button. It's going to show me my battery and some other information. And then I'm going to press the mode button on the side. It'll show a timer and then go over to the HVAC settings. I'm going to click through. There's defrost. Cool. If you live in a hot weather state, you can do air conditioning too. And of course, heat, which is what we want to do today. But actually, I'm going to use defrost because that puts the heat up on the windshield. Then I'm going to press the power button again to transmit. It makes a little beep and it tells me it's plugged in and defrosting. So here we're going to have a little time lapse for you. This is about 10 minutes worth of time lapse, just showing the uh, defrost going. You'll actually see a little puddle of water down on the ground where the snow melted off to. Now the reason why I'm using defrost is it also activates the rear defroster. And on my car, I also have heated outside mirrors. So those get defrosted as well. And then if we, we just look at some uh, non-time-lapse footage, uh, when the defroster is going, it really cranks away. It uh, does a pretty good job at uh, melting the snow. And when I've used this before, when it's been uh, just plain ice right on the windshield, it actually does a really good job de-icing. So right now I'm rebuilding my garage. And even when I'm done with that, I can have the car parked inside and preheating. And unlike an internal combustion engine car, it's not going to be making any carbon monoxide. Until next time, stay warm and charged up.